everybody hi i am ananya and welcome to my ted talk it feels so surreal to you know just really saying it right now because i think i've uh, for the longest time uh, been dreaming about you know giving one or just maybe saying this like welcome to my ted talk and i think that has been limited to me uh, and my bathroom mirror uh so happy to be doing this right now uh but uh, yeah let's talk about my missing piece ha huh. i think uh, my missing piece uh was purpose i think finding a purpose was something that i was really missing out on also identity uh everybody's got different you know uh, missing pieces and i you know i, I actually before this i asked a few people ki what is your missing piece what do you think uh, is really uh, lacking in your life at the moment or what is it that you wish was a part of your life a lot of people said uh, safety uh, some people said money um, well okay <laughs> yes why well, i would definitely agree to that some would say travel i think uh, they haven't traveled in a long time and uh, that's more need based at the moment um and you know while i was listening to them i you know put out the question what is my missing piece i think uh, purpose is my missing piece it was identity before this but it's also purpose part of it is fulfilled yes but uh, identity is a big uh was a big big thing uh, prior to this the missing piece in my life and uh, it was because of that missing piece that i set out to start a company that also caters to a missing piece in the society um to start off with the purpose you know i come from a family where everybody uh you know has maybe gone to an ivy league school you know go to an, has gone to an harvard has gone to a yale has scored 90% in the board are super smart okay and uh, here i come uh 80% chalega kya i think does 80% make the guys above average but uh, does 80% make the cut i was i think i was always the um i still believe the black sheep in the family and uh, there's a very stupid dialogue that comes uh, that is a part of this movie called welcome that says ki ab ghode ki race mein gadhe bhi daudenge kya i always felt like i was the gadha in that race um after i did prove myself uh, somewhere um my uh, aunt had actually put in uh, in the group that uh, you know uh, she was actually talking to my grandfather and she said ki you know अब आपके सारे बच्चे अब नाउ दैट अनन्या मे बी जस्ट इम्प्लाइंग दैट नाउ अनन्या माइट हैव जस्ट गॉट इन सम अप्रिसिएशन ऑफ सॉर्ट आई मीन मेड सम मेर अ मार्क ऑफ सम सॉर्ट सेट कि अब आपके सारे बच्चे लंबे रेस के घोड़े हैं टू बी कंसिडर्ड अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट इंटायर सेगमेंट वो समथिंग दैट आई फेल रियली हैप्पी यू नो इट्स एन एस्पिरेशन बिकॉज यू आर कंपेयरिंग योर सेल्फ विथ लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल दैट अराउंड यू and uh, you feel ki yaar am i the only stupid person in the family who uh, is not worthy of doing something differently um that is where my purpose earlier was to maybe you know prove it to them uh, that i could do wonders even if i was an average kid uh, average at studies kid i think um, i was okay with other things i have always been a funny person i've always aspired to be the life of the party uh but uh, that is something that my friends will be able to tell better but um i had an identity crisis and i think a lot of people do uh and that is when i started questioning my purpose in life um the my purpose in life was something that was missing i didn't know what i wanted to do i always felt very sorry for myself in a way that why doesn't anybody really love me for the way that i am but uh, i think when i i came of my own when i realized that there is a segment uh, here in india that i could cater to through a certain product launch and uh, which i did during uh, the 2020 lockdown which i will tell you about later but uh, currently that we are talking about things that transpired before i thought of it 
so i think uh, during the 2020 lockdown um i i wasn't looking for anything i think i was the most useless person then uh, not doing anything eating a lot uh, just watching random tv freshly unemployed because you know i'd left my job and after that nobody was hiring so I was freshly unemployed uh, was constantly applying to jobs and i figured ki what am i really good at uh, i had that question in me what am i really good at is this the only thing i'm really good at why is nobody hiring me maybe i was a fresher i'd only worked in the industry for a year but i think there was so much more to me that i could uh, you know cater to so that is when i started questioning myself uh this reminds me of a story that uh, you know i had uh, read as a child of the hungry caterpillar Rem- revolves around purpose uh so there's a it goes around it, it's my version of it uh so there's a caterpillar that uh, you know is just a baby hatched a few days ago starts eating a lot okay starts eating a lot is hungry throughout the day has an insatiable hunger that goes on through the day and uh, you know one day he just has a tummy ache and he's like i've had you know the best things that are there in the world i've ha- had apples i've had pears i've got plums i've eaten a chocolate cake i've eaten sausages everything um but there's always an insatiable hunger in me and uh, what really is my purpose is my purpose only eating food uh, which increases day by day in that thought he built you know he uh, builds himself into a cocoon uh, where he in that two weeks of being cocooned he thinks about what he really is worth of and when he thinks that he's ready to face the world when he's realized what he really is good at he comes out as a butterfly breaks through as a butterfly i'd always wanted that chrysalis for me and i think that happened uh, when i you know saw a certain problem at home in 2020 we uh, so because we were all staying at home uh, we you know everybody had taken up different uh, jobs chores at home uh, you know uh, at home and i had taken up the responsibility of cleaning uh, the rooms and bathrooms after everybody had done only because i woke up late in the morning and i wanted to sleep and i didn't want people to bug me through it so what happened is uh, you know i figured that there was a lot of uh, talcum powder in the bathroom i'm like okay that's normal because it's summers but why is there so much talcum powder on the uh, bathroom floor one day is fine two days fine third day is also the same thing is happening as always after my father left the bathroom so now uh, my sister and i uh, you know spoke about it and then we you know addressed this question to our fathers what is it that's happening we figured that there was an embarrassment uh, that came with talking about a seg- segment like this to our fathers especially about we we didn't know why there was a lot of use it so we didn't know why the embarrassment was attached to it with constant pestering that we got it's only after constant pestering that we got to know that uh, it's because of that talcum powder usage uh, which led on to us discovering the huge gap the missing piece of the knowledge of male intimate hygiene here in india and the prolonged uh, embarrassment that is attached to it so you know the nuts that anushri and i are my sister who started this company uh, we decided that we wanted to bridge that gap For, you know while we were researching while we found that nobody is really doing it and it's something that's really spoken about is when i found my missing piece is when i found my purpose is when i thought i could find my identity in shaping something you know because you you know just imagine you just gone out walking it's a normal day you you're feeling really bad about something that really happened you're quite uh, uh, sad about whatever was happening and you just fall into a pit and in the pit you realize if you fallen into a pit which is filled with gold so you know you never know when opportunity knocks at your door when that little piece will you know just fill up that missing gap that you had and i think finding 
a solution to a national problem when we realize that this is something that would do ex- extremely well if you know is brought here to india we figured that that is a missing piece that will fill our missing piece especially mine that is what i believe that would fill my missing piece and uh, also in a way establish that i might be good at something i might be able to take ch- take change into my own hands so that is what happened this reminds me okay of this story that i might have heard as a kid uh, by my history teacher wherein she was teaching us about you know mount everest and everything else she told us um that when um so hillary and uh, uh tenzin uh, came down uh, after scaling mount everest one of the journalists asked them uh you know how do they feel about uh, you know just scaling mount everest and what was something that was driving their uh, you know driving their confidence fueling them to uh, you know scale mount everest to what they said had there been no mount everest uh, there would not been anything that we could scale it was our purpose it was what we were destined to do had there been no mount everest there wouldn't have been anything that we would be able to scale something that we would be able to mount over uh so i think it you know served as a purpose it served as a goal which they wanted to achieve and i think that similarly works in my case wherein you know my everest was to find my identity and that was driven by purpose of bringing about a change not just bringing about a change in people uh thinking of me in a different way but in the society as well that you know this is something that you could do another thing that maybe you know fueled my uh passion into doing something like this was that i as a woman got the chance to bring about a change that is something when you get to know that you know if you do it you will be the first person to do it you will be bringing about a change that fuels your purpose even more that is when you want to eagerly find and fulfill that missing piece that is there and i think you'll put your heart and soul into it and uh, that is exactly what i did and uh, i still am doing that i'm trying to fill that gap in the society working towards educating them by making them scratch their balls a little less and scratch their heads a little more anticipating how did these two girls do this and why didn't we think about it so happy that uh, you know we get to cater to change uh, and something that i very confidently now say that it took two girls two vaginas to change the ball game to fill in the missing piece that was there in the society and i think whatever you do set your mind to and if you do find your purpose and if you know that this purpose will drive you to fill that missing piece find that missing piece then go for it in full speed thanks